So you've decided on your project for module three. It's time to start adding content to your document and start demonstrating the use of some of the tools within Google Docs. So I've just typed out a, a quick outline of what I'm going to do um, for this project as an example. So th this project, I would start with um, a title of it. Maybe it's about Nevada, whatever. And we're gonna be doing some work with heading style. So if you wanna go ahead and assign the title style to that right now, you can, or you can do it later. And then I'm gonna center it just because that's the way I would set it up. And then I've got some of my up subtitles down here that I'm going to, um, to use in my document. Underneath the title though, I want to create my own image by adding some um, things and putting them together to, to create my own drawing for this project. On the previous screen, I gave you some ideas, but again, use your best imagination. It's probably way better than mine anyway. But I'm gonna to go to the insert drawing option and select new. Do not use the Google Drawing app for this activity. Not that it wouldn't work, but I want you to show demonstrate that you can use the internal drawing tool that's right inside of Google Docs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go find some images about Nevada, and I'm just gonna search the web. These are pretty much royalty free, but as always, you should probably check your and cite your, your uh, images that you're using for projects and teach your students to do that also. I'm not going to demonstrate that today. If you need more help on that, just let me know. So I'm gonna look for state of Nevada, an image of the state. Let me find one real quickly here. Just gonna bring it in. And you have to demonstrate at least three tools. So um, inserting an image is one of them. I'm also going to go back up and I wanna find some other things about our state. So maybe, uh, well, here's the state flag. Again, find two, three images that you wanna use. Um, this one is too big, so I'm gonna grab from the corner and resize it. Again, always grab from the corners because that way the image is kept proportional. I don't know if it bothers you as much, but I hate to see images that are not proportional. And then I might grab a couple more images. Then I'm gonna demonstrate using adding text to my document by using the text tool. I'm just gonna type in home means Nevada. And it has uh, some basic font size uh, and color, the same kind of things that you would see on a regular doc. I might even change the background of that so it's white. Do that again. And then that way it kind of overlays and stands out a little bit more. But anyway, play with all those tools up there when you're using text. Under actions, you can see word art. So if you would rather play with word art, feel free to do that. The other thing I'm gonna do is um, just explore and see, you know, what shapes I have available. I might just take and, and create a rectangle that goes around my entire graphic. Yeah, it comes in filled with blue, so I might want that to be transparent. If I do want it to be a solid white, then it's covering, as I add layers here, the most recent thing I add is gonna be on top. But if I right click, I can change the order and send that triangle, I'm sorry, that rectangle to the back. Okay, so I've got, I've demonstrated at least three different items here. I've got a shape, I've got text, I've got some images. Again, explore, there's lines, like I said, there's shapes. Um, so just um, enjoy learning this tool because it's very, very helpful. Now I'm gonna save it and close it. And it's gonna appear in my document right where my cursor was. Now, the awesome thing about this is that it's now combined all of these separate items as one image. I can also resize it if it's a little bigger than I want it to be. 
Okay. So I'm ready to go. So those are the drawing tools that you are to demonstrate for this portion of uh, the project. So let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing your project uh, being built as you work through these lessons.